Now the nades start to come over the top. Four's actually not playing the retake setup. Zorty and Jerry playing inside of the site. Not something you see too often at the moment as they'll start to swing. Zorty looking to click a couple of heads, but he's been dinked up and he's lost his support. Antares out of Palace. Zorty does very well to even grab a second as Shalfie will chime in onto Zantares. And buy them a little bit of a retake opportunity here. Three on two. Kenzie already on the fast flank. This isn't going to be expected. Kalex has no idea. He turns, but it's too late. x -Flad doing what he can. Keeps it competitive. Shalfi low on HP will swing wide, and it's well traded away. Norway doing a solid job. There. Palace angle, but Kalex has just snuck by him to the left. Jerry now joining him to try and clear this one now. Nice dink converted on the wall bang as well. That'll be full palace control. You can see they have to go fast now. Eternal fire. They know they need this B bomb site, but Norby doing a solid job of locking it down behind the back bench. The man advantage turns to two, and the bomb for Eternal Fire is still all the way back in spawn. They're just lurking out alone. Zantara is a nice reaction shot to take out Shalfi. That aim coming through. But again, it's isolated fights. Woxic solo is going to back out of the B site. They're trying to lurk the bomb out. A hey, Zorty is still here. And if he hits that shot, the round is surely done. He takes out Imor, takes the bomb down with him. And at this point... So I'll have to see how things advance. Obviously, though, still very early days here on map number one. Oh, oh the timing is horrible for Woxic. And now he's going to swing wide. And I don't know how he gets away with it. Jerry drops down off the rail and... Just as Woxic peeks true, Emor is going to find a pick from under Palace, uh, under Pass, rather. Although he will get taken out eventually, trying to get himself that AWP. Xantares is good for the trade, and the second one as well. Not sure how he gets that vision. Can barely spot him with the X-ray around the smoke, let alone without his Xantares is just inhuman, and there is off the back of it. And, well, let's see. It looks like it might even be a slightly quicker-paced round. They are still working with some mid-presence, but a lot of the T is are moving directly on towards that A-bomb site, and Woxic trying to move across the steps with the up in hand gets shut down by Kenzie, and it's pretty much just everyone right now going ahead and taking a piece of the pie on that side of fours. It's a team effort to lock down this A-push, leaving only x Floud now, and, well, despite getting that one kill, it costs him pretty much all of his health. The nade somehow doesn't finish Here we go. He hit to come in. Nice utility. A little bit of a nade chip damage. Zorty able to pick one off on the cross. Starting to thin the numbers early exactly as required. Zorty continuing to frag from inside of the site. Shalfi looked like he hit it, but it's the overwatch of Zorty. The wall bang even continuing to connect. Woxic will be able to grab one. Quick on the draw on that AWP to say the very least. Grabs a second. Nice flick down. Actually manages to take both orbs away, but they will be recovered in amongst the wreckage bit of time this is still doable Counter utility coming in that's a nice little smoke just lock shalfie out of the sight line he was after they're trying to deny the transition nor we good for one shalfie will grab one through the corner of the smoke as well and this starts to get interesting zorty again playing overwatch just through the smoke goes shalfie able to sacrifice his life just to buy kenzie that extra half a second the wall bangs continuing to connect for zorty as kenzie will find the final kill Bunker down in the ramp itself. Jerry with Zorty to back him up. They're going to go for the two-man clear. Eternal fire. They send x Floud in early. He gets his head ripped clean off. Woxic looking for the trade. Won't land it. Jerry gets both. And that's the bomb down. It doesn't matter. They're continuing to get fragged with 13 seconds. Fours know what they've got to do. They've got to bail out. They've got to lock down their angles. They've got to survive. And they do it. Jerry with four kills to his name in the round. Zorty, the supporting cast. He's leaning this time. A little bit of a misread. Imor's going to take some damage. And Kenzie straight through the smoke will find him. That's a lovely pick. Makes this start to look a little one-dimensional. Three players popping out of Palace. Here we go. They flash themselves down. Jerry will be able to catch x Floud Zorty swinging in to take out Kalex. And again, two on five at this point. Woxic and Zantares. I mean, if there's any two you want. Sure, it would be these two, but how much can they realistically get done? Zantaris jumps across, deals with Zorty, but is quickly traded away. Jerry just about able to hit the alarm but panic button before he gets too awkward. And Moxic, yeah, full minute left on the clock, spraying on the wall. Couple of players pushing. Feels a little premature. He'll hit the first. 38 seconds left on the clock, and I think Fords have got to be a little careful here. Norway has utility. He's actually tucked himself in tight on this angle. Woxic doesn't expect it. Will be taken out. Warming onto this site. Eternal Fire looking to hit all their angles. Jerry still tucked in Ninja. His timing is going to be key. Kalex knows he could be there, but he doesn't manage the shot. Can't quite clear him out. And now Jerry flirting with the smokes. Continuing to do damage. It's all going Fours' way. X-Floud 
trying to turn the tide, manages to grab the first. The bomb is down, and that does give him something to work around, but the spray is rough. Can't get more than the one. Kenzie puts him down. 12 for fours. That CT side continues to flourish, and... Gonna be Norvi on his own for now. No nades ready to be tossed down. He's just gonna have to land shots as they come true. For now, tucking in behind the pillar, eventually catching Kalix, but he's only good for the one. They're locked out of B now, and well, the hope is to try and catch a kill as that bomb goes down, hoping for a bit of an advantage. But a little bit of damage onto him, or Shalfi looking to rotate in. They've managed to tag up a fair few. They know Roxix here. He's not expecting the late lurk, but Santares will trade it. X Cloud in a fantastic position will pick Zorti off, and at this point, it's falling apart. Santares with one more. They know where Shelfie is. They'll just wall bang him down. 12 3 as we head into the halftime. Four's looking very, very solid. Rams. Santares spots out one. Couple of players playing inside of the site again for the CT side. Couple of missed shots from Santares as the first smokes come out, but he won't miss that. Zorti, head ripped off in the palace. Kalix able to grab one from under dark as well, and this is a nice setup for the CT side. Flashes in. They've got so many blinded up players. Kalix finds another before the first frag of the round comes in for Norway. He's losing teammates left, right, and center. This round should be a done deal. They continue to swing in. Just the one frag for fours as Eternal Fire start things off strong on the CT side. Could have peeked a little bit closer, maybe, and with the, the flash in behind them instead. Either way, goes down without really much damage being outputted. And I was going to say that makes things a little bit awkward, especially with the, uh, the mid control and initially window control being lost. But that's a good return, at least on Jerry. And Ooh. somehow Waxit gets away with that kill on Kenzie. Just three players left alive. The ramp control given up to Kalix. It has to be the B side. They don't have a choice. X Cloud is low, but Imor holding the angle on the AWP will continue to find damage. Two on four at this point. It really is on that rifle. Shalfi, how much can you get, mate? He's found the first. He knows Imor still lurking in and around this back side. He's going to try and molly him into the open. Baits the shot away, and the molly will finish what he starts. That buys them half a chance to get the bomb down, and they'll take it with open arms, but there's already a flank. Kalex is already into the apartments. He looks for the trigger discipline. Can't quite land the shot. The molly is well timed though. And it will start to force them into awkward after plant. Zorti now posted. But he's going to need a 1v2. He has info on both of these players. He has a gap in the smoke. But he misses the first shot. Kalex looks to pile the pressure on. Shoulder peek after shoulder peek. And he rips his head off. One shelf. He's dead. And yeah, that's not a good start into this round for fours. Looking to try and chain a couple rounds together, hoping to get things going for themselves on this T side. And, well, a missed up shot actually does end up costing Eternal Fire a small bit in towards middle. And, well, for now, they're actually going to leave the bomb in connector while two players push around B. One up short, one in towards the apartments. It's honestly a bit of a strange approach, and sadly, they're not able to actually work alongside each other. We'll start to make the rotation back in. The pincer move will look to hit. It's a decent plant, but the problem is Norway so unaware of what's coming. Gun down in the back to leave Zorti 1v4, not even with his favorite weapon. Just an AK-47 and a flashbang to work with. Smoke will go on to the bomb to obscure vision. Santares looks to swarm. The defuse looks to stick. He plays the high ground, does get the dink. Zorti up to the task for the first, but the defuse has already come in. He's actually trapped in this corner. We'll go down. He's going to be able to do in fours either way with a minute or just happy enough to park the bus for a second. They waited for everyone to be ready for this push to move in together. The oh, only problem no. is it's allowed for CT rotations. And now they might have outgamed themselves because the bomb is going to be completely trapped in behind this flanker. Zorti's got no idea. No idea that x Cloud is here. He just starts to think maybe, but he's watching the wrong corner, and that's bomb. With 40 seconds left, all of this trickery means nothing. Kenzie will grab one. Still lurking. x Cloud playing such an intelligent angle. They'll swing in. They get the frag, though. Jerry, clean headshot. And now 1v2, 10 seconds. They've got to get to sight now, and you can see him or knows it. He's got the AK. Six seconds planting inside of the smoke. It won't even be needed. Kenzie comes up. Couple of M4s flanked by Deagles, MP9s, and Scouts. They're going to have to go proactive with it, and they know it. Zantares sent charging up mid, but it's a one for one. That rifle is in a hellish spot. Nice tag up from him, or the nade to follow up. He'll chew on it. Support lines now coming in for Kalix, who is a little bit isolated under dark. You can see Norway aware of it, but the timing is there. Kalex beheads another and Eternal Fire. They were never going to go quietly, but they're being very loud about their successes in this one. They've got 1,500 on Shelfie, so I mean, they won't really be able to buy onto everyone, but 
Still a couple of rifles maybe would have been useful. It seems like, yeah, Zarte is happy enough to move in towards the bomb site. Well, this time again, fast mid control brawled for and shelf. He's actually going to get the better of Zantares early on. Zorty with a slight gap in the smoke. Kalix will be able to trade things and again, just straight through the smoke. Imor spots a pixel, finds a frag. It's fours. They're slowing down, hoping they get a pick. Zorty will grab one over towards B and that will cause a rotation now. Can't quite find the connection. Plant going to come in inside of the smoke. That won't allow Kalix to do much. Kenzie was watching for this, but he turns. And that gives the frag away. Gives that man advantage back to the CT side. Is now two on three. Zorty is in a nightmarish spot. A man on short behind him can't quite find the kill. Nor we will be taken down as a result. And Zorty 1v3 can't connect the shot. It rings out, but it won't connect. We'll find the kill. Santara is now tucked in. Going to be a jewel of the fading smokes. There's multiple targets. He will grab one. Zorty, though, has dealt with Woxic and starts to open up this A site as Kalix. They know he's here. They know he's the only man on the site and he misses the spray. Norwe. That could be the kill that does it. Immor will try and rotate in. X Cloud a long way away still. And find Zorty. Can't finish his meal. They know they've got to get out. They know they're not covering their backsides. They have got to get onto this site now. And it's two quick kills. 16 11. It took them a while. It took them a long... Crossfires are established. This could be absolute chaos. First batch of nades over the top. Flashes to get them out, but there is so many crosshairs and so many targets. Woxic picks off one. Zorty doing what he can. Kenzie and Zorty, in fact, combining for three. Jerry gets another, and they've decimated the stack. There was four players there for the CT side, and they're gone in the blink of an eye. Immo will have to try and clutch up 1v4, and he will be given nothing. Norway rips his head clean off. That is exactly the start fours needed. And he's fallen back, so it does pretty much uh, say to me that they're pretty certain about actually committing to this A bomb site. It won't Ooh. give them too many options about falling back, but what a shot by Norway. Woxic looked ready initially on that corner, but doesn't even get a chance to try and react at all. Kalix isn't going to be able to land either, as Narvi opens up the A-bomb site all on his own. He takes all three kills, even plants the bomb. He's a one-man army. Takes a life as he does so. Nice opening set for the CT side. He's going to go straight through. What is he doing? Kenzie gets the kill. It's a team effort. Shalf be there to spray him down from the side. Jerry grabs another and out of nowhere is Zantara's alone yet to get a kill in this series. And that will continue. Jerry beheads him. 2v3 on the retake. Immor wants to go early, but he's isolated. He hasn't got x Cloud with him yet. And Zorty. Oh, that's just unreasonable. There's too many symbols there. It's a no- Allow for a bit of a stack maybe elsewhere. Not for now, though. They're actually sticking with the two players on Bananas. Zantares does get his first kill and a second off the back of his somehow. It looked like Shalfi was almost certainly going to be getting himself that trade kill. And for now, he's actually staying alive. It won't last, though, as he kills himself. How did that happen? I don't oh, know. Molly. There's two mollies on him, and he somehow killed himself. Oh, it was his own one. He threw a second. He, he threw the molly first. The second one came in, flushes him out into his own. But it's still the man advantage. Two on three. x Cloud with it all to do. He whiffs the shot. Jerry able to punish. Resets onto the boiler. He's waiting for this peak to come in. Imor is going to give it to him. It's on the time. He lands it, but he's not expecting the backstab. Woxy grabs it. 30 seconds. Before anyone can have any kind of say, Woxy's position unknown. And Jerry, he's gambling, but he's gambling the wrong side. He's looking the wrong way. The execution in the back will come through. Eternal fire. Their first round of this set. To try and work off of this control. It's only the one player right now, though, and he continues to probe, so he's going to have to get a lot done on his own, and, well, okay, Kenzie picks up the kill on Xanters. Time is going to be everything. Still two in towards this B-side. x with the pop flash. Both players turn it, but he still gets the kill. Norway goes down, and at this point, 40 seconds left. Kenzie is trying to wrap. Yet to get a kill. 20 seconds. Kenzie knows he's got to up the pace now, and you can see the CT side have started to smell a rat. They group up. Missed shot. And that could well be it. Shalfi trying to help his teammate out, but it's x Cloud in with the first and Immor in with the final. Control being found for four is a three-man stack in place from Eternal Fire, but obviously it is still quite early on in the round. Or as the will look to probe and up against the op of Woxix, that, that is not going to be easy to do. Zorte pops in dry. They didn't actually bother to use a flash on the initial peak. They will put one down to allow the cross in, but it doesn't matter. Woxic just stays posted on the angle. It's a tight one, so the flash hadn't even taken him off of it. And Eternal fire, an immediate response to an isolated round from fours. That T side not going to be allowed to get away with it. 
Start to turtle into their sights. A little more utility to stall this initial hit. It's being held by Wok. Sick, full blind, but it's an easy angle. Doesn't have to think about it whatsoever. Still able to just buy a little more time as he tucks himself in. Two players probing. This is going to get very rough. The backstab comes in. Immor gets the bomb. That's round done. x Five comes in with one more. This is a done deal. And they're struggling even to find damage at this point. Fours Eternal Fire very much finding their feet as x Cloud. Norby just starting to back away now. It's a charge from Immor on this AWP. Knows that with his teammate down, he's got to get a refrag somewhere. But Norby plays the smoke. Waits for the timing, grabs it. Kenzie gets another A site wide open for the taking. Zantara is a long way away. Outside a long. Jerry catches him. It's done. x Cloud will have to give it a go. It's a 1v5. Oh, how much can you really do about this? Zorti now posted on the arches angle. Swings and is dealt with. 9-6 at the end of the first half. Fours just seven rounds away from another clean. With a USP against multiple Glocks, he drops into the mini pit. The timing... Oh, it's going to be everything. They do start to rotate as they drop one down. Zorty with one. Looks for the second, but he won't land it. And his second player in sight is gone. Zantares can't stop the rotation. So it will be a three on three. As that bomb looks to be planted. Nade from Jerry onto the planter. Doesn't walk out that angle. This is going to be such a tough retake. Someone has to hit a nasty shot. Jerry not connecting initially. Now looks to flash his teammates into things. It's a brawl, but it's all going Eternal Fire's way. Two quick kills and it's done. Jerry will look to bail out of the situation. Woxic will look to hunt him. He hits the first headshot, but it's job done for Eternal Fire. In this VO, Dusty was the one that would probably favor Eternal Fire the most. Maybe a stack. They're going to call the bluff. x Cloud through the smoke. Immor actually gets the kill through it as well. And now, already starting to mop up at the edges. Zantares finds another. They know where he is, but it doesn't matter. They can't connect the shot. He goes down low. Will finally be taken out by Shalfi. Alex is right there, just waiting for the jump up to trade out his teammate, Zorty, last alive. And this is the eternal fire that we know do so much. Woxig deals with Zorty, cleans it up smoothly, just that individual. They just have to make it work now, and eternal fire are going to pile the pressure on Banana early on. Absolutely flying up, it's a boost over the top, they've gone round it. Jerry and Shalfi with two, but there's a backstab from Woxic, and he's got two of his own. It's very awkward, but it just about comes out in favour of the CT side. A manic brawl. Woxic very nearly steadies the ship. Doesn't want to give this site away for free. It will be Norway actually staying on the boost of Zorti. Not to give too much vision away. Now he goes up right on cue. Right as Zantares looks to get it down. And it leaves Kalex 1v3. Norway hears the tap. Goes through the smoke. Finds the shot. Kalex needed that kill and he can't quite land it. Something is going to have to be special. The flashes continue to come in. The mollies to try and buy half a second. Shalfi has to drop off the boost. And here we go. Flash over the top. Immor gets one. Norway only able to trade a one for one. And a two on four retake into B. That feels impossible. And I think Kenzie knows it. He's over on that A side. He's got no interest in this. No interest in even having a look in. Woxic goes over the top of First Origins to deal with Zorty and it's done. Eternal Fire will have the lead. They will break fours. Question is, how much is it worth? Three players into the apps. This is going to be a pop out in Kenzie. He's wall banging. He's going to be out of ammo as this pop comes through. Has to fall back into the site. Found freely. Zorty doing all he can. He's shotgunning the AWP into sight, but it's not enough. He only gets the one. Shalfi trying to bail him out is found and again... The man advantage means nothing. It's 13. Eternal fire Off for the shot. Drops instead as the flash starts to fade. And that gives them a huge opportunity. They're going to boost back up over the top. Shalfi in with one. Zantaris through the smoke exchanging damage. Shalfi on 4 HP somehow stays alive a split second longer. It's a little bit of chaos. He's down to 43. Woxic lurking out. Will be pinned to the back wall by Zorty. Zantaris trades it. Two on three now. Kalex and Zantaris. An age-old duo. The flank starting to come in. But Kenzie, Kalex is close to this smoke. And I don't think he knows it. He's going to go right through, right into the jaws. It's a whiff spray. And that gives them time to trade. Kalex with the one tap. And it's 1v1. Norway, the youngster, versus the experience of Kalex. And Kalex clutches it. 14 on the board for Eternal Fire. Once again, they... When they'd consider sending a third player over. Zarte is going to be joining up. Just as the smokes begin to come in as well, Amali gets dropped down by Norway. He's going to need to get at least a couple of kills from here. And, well, in the Molly, that's not going to be an easy task. Xantares gets himself two entries. 
And joined by x Flout, it leaves them in a very firm four on two. The bomb goes down. That time they had two mollies with 35 seconds left. It should have been done. Struggling with some economic woes. The early nade stacked down banana, not finding any purchase. You can see Eternal Fire just brimming with confidence. Zorty, wall banged out of the fight already. Kalix gets the second in the A site this time under absolute siege. Shalfi trying to pick up the pieces here. Flashbang actually blinds his own teammate. Woxic leads to Xantares' demise, and it's a small silver lining. Shalfi, he's trying to get away with murder here. He's trying to play the smoke, trying to play the timing. He'll get it onto x -Plow. Buys a lifeline. Jerry swings in with one more, and suddenly four spring to life. They want Woxic. They've got both of them tagged up, and Jerry, baying for blood, finds another. It's onto Woxic. 1v3. Doesn't know about the close player, I don't think, and Shalfi will put him down. Fours. On one of them, he gets some good damage through it, not the kill. And that could be critical because Shalfi has opted to push off the balcony. He's looking for the one tap. There's the execution. He can hide. He runs for his life. He does exactly what's required. Kenzie in with another big kill. And it's on to Woxic and x -Flow to do what they can with 10 seconds left on the clock. It's nothing. Flawless hold of the A site. And I doubt Eternal Fire will be going there again because fours on A. They're going to cheat a rotate, Zorty. Starts to smell a rat, thinks it's always been B. That's always been the issue. They swing. Norway trades one for one, but it's not good enough. x Cloud in with another and Zorty. He's only got an AWP behind this smoke. There's nothing he can do. AWP retake into the B site of Inferno. Molotov goes the wrong way. Looks to clear out the new boxes, but nobody home. The CTs desperate, floundering as the T side just holds on. x Cloud mollied off his first angle, but he'll settle into dark. The frag comes through. Both of them do, in fact, 16-14. We will be requiring a third map. We will be. Flashes, they're going to head over towards A long early. Very fast as well. The P2000 of Woxic tries to cross the pit. He doesn't get any sort of a chance to do so. Well, within seconds, this round already is put in favor of fours and a five on three. Smoke on the corner. Xantares, that's actually a really nice pick. They needed at least something to work with here before just conceding the bomb site. And well, they don't really plan to concede it, apparently. They attempted to get that boost up to see if they could hang on. Imor from over on short is actually going to pick off the head of Norvi as well. And. Well, it's come down to a much better position than it was looking to be in a, f a few moments ago. They've got a three on three. They've got equal health pretty much between Shalfi and Xanthars. So this is doable, but it's not going to be easy. Those Glocks up close and personal. And as they walk out through the crossfire, it's just impossible. Kenzie with two. With four players here are starting to queue things up. x Cloud with a little bit of spam through. That nade will get some good work done. Jerry ahead of it, though. Out ahead of the flashes, and he's got an absolute field day. Fully blinded up. Nothing x Cloud can do. Him or alone on the site, but Santares and Kalix finding critical kills. Shalfi somehow alone. It looked like Jerry had the keys to the castle. Instead, he's been left at the gate. The Shalfi. Yes, he's got the B-bomb side, but he's being flanked out all the while. He knows he needs a kill here. He grabs one. Down to 35 HP with it. So little he can really do. He's going to try and plant the bomb inside the smoke. Be a little cheeky with it. Gets it down. That'll be the economic booster. But Kalex rips his head clean off. Of course he does. As soon as he's in, Eternal Fire have their first. They open things up. Four-man stack from Eternal Fire. So it's going to be a heavy clash around long. Jerry's the only man actually to push out for control, and he's going to be just pinned in behind blue. There's nothing really that he can do anymore. Taken out by Kalix, and as they start getting ready to move up through short now as well, a massive gap in that smoke is going to leave them exposed to the upper Woxic. And Emor in towards the spawn then as well. Pops at least one head before going down. So a two on four with Kenzie on low health. It's not looking like fours are going to be able to get much done here. You can admire the, uh, the change in pace. Wait, hang on a second, because maybe if Norvi gets this kill on the B, there's a chance for the bomb plant, and then for an after plant to be played out, but he takes, I think, a bit too much damage. Kenzie is key. If he can get a kill, timing looks the wrong way, and Woxie puts him down. If he gets a kill there, then they've got to clear out mid, and that buys an extra 10, 15 seconds. Not able to get it done. Norvi on 24 HP, left 1v3. Kalix will surely clear him in due course. Tries to play the trigger discipline. They're not watching. Oh, Galax, there was a world. Towards the B split. Molly on the window, smoke oh. towards the door. A ton of nade damage on towards Kenzie, but they've still got the initial opening from Shalfi. Emar is not going to be able to do anything either as he gets pinched in on between the tunnels and the door. 
but they aren't going to give this one a go. They'll happily save. They'll make sure they have the money to get a drop over to X Flowered. For fours for Eternal Fire and fours actually, as they start to really push the issue of gaining that long control. Oh, yeah, but Norvi actually catches the aggression in towards Tunnel. Zemar is going to come back in for more. And, well, Will at least managed to trade things. It wasn't looking certain as Norvi did have his crosser on it. Looked to be initially prepared for the re-aggression. Xantars is going to go in towards Short. Now lines up two of them. But can only actually find the one kill before being traded. And now Woxic with this up on the bomb site Has to worry about multiple angles. Coming in on both sides of him. Falls back to the Deagle. And actually will end up having the help of Kalix to get that kill on the bomb site, But he doesn't stay alive. In the end, either way, it comes down to Zorte in the one on two. And well, he knows he has a player pinned in. I think he's aware of the up in towards the CT spawn as well as he goes for the peak on towards Emor initially, hoping for the quicker reactions. Behind that, double orbs. Here we go. Molotov's utility out. They try and make the execute happen out of short. Santaris gets the first. The spray down's good. 30 seconds. He's got support on this cross, and you can see with this double orb, there's nothing they can do. Woxic picks off Norway. Shalfi will trade, sure. But Xantares is still right here. Shalfi trying to get the kill, but he's got a bomb on his back. Has to go back again. Zorti trying to back his man up. Lands the first shot. Needs so much more from there. And as Imor takes out his teammate, it's all Zorti. A 1v3 asked of him. Has to be proactive with it, and that is his undoing. Eternal Fire will regain the lead once again. Do their way out mid. This is going to be the B split. Four players starting to make their way up. They're trying to get in, but it's just a slaughter. x Farm looks the wrong way for a split second. That opens it up. Imor alone gets two. A turret on the backside before he's taken down. Just about gets enough. That should entice them in. They know that the rifles will have been recovered, but there's a lack of Kevlar. Zorti looking across. It's spotted and dealt with. Xantares gets it done. And Norway is left. 1v3. Low HP. Missed shot. Punished. And that will be it. An eighth round on the board. Eternal Fire really starting to stretch their legs now. Win. To escape a couple players out. Norway stayed in those lower tunnels, and he has sat there like a rock. He'll start his flank now. This timing is going to be everything. Three players swing out. Floud reads it. Gets the flanker. And that tags. Those damage may start to become everything. The spray downs connect. It's double digits at the half. Eternal fire with 10. And they are on their way to surviving this lower bracket. Six rounds required. We'll have to see if they can get them. Over towards ramp and gets a really strong position to set them up for the retake. Looking to try and just take the fight straight up. Immol's dealt with the first. Kenzie and Chalfi, though, immediate response. Two clean headshots, and they know where everyone is now. Xantaris somehow gets another from behind Gandalf. And that may well be the decisive kill. They've still got to clear him out. He's still fragging out. X-File chimes in, and that should be the day done. Chalfi, he has the kit. He doesn't have any armor, and he's just being chipped away at every time he swings. Every chance he gets... It's just a player in his face, and Woxic will be the one to put the final bullet in it. Five more rounds required for Eternal Fire to take out. Be Eternal Fire, unless Forrest find a bit of a last push, I suppose, in their form. Kenzie flashed in, not able to land. He gets, I believe, only one onto the body of Emor. It looks like there definitely should have been a lot more for him there. But it is going to be Zarte now on the scout who gets the work done. Taken out too, and actually assisted by a team flash, I believe, that came over. And now the MP9 of Jerry just going to strafe around the edge of the smoke, spraying down Emor. Doing a slight bit of damage here to Kalix, allowing for Norvi to follow it up. So there's the bomb, there's a three-on-one, x Flouds all alone. And, well, the force play from Fars is working. Somehow they make it sing. Nothing x Foul can do, surely. No, Shalfi will put him down. Setting up for the mid-B. The nade tags away at two of them. Pot flash out the door from Kenzie. He's got to stay alive here. Got to provide the supporting cast to Shalfi as they charge through the smoke. It's two, three in quick succession for fours as they lock it down. The perfect round. Kalix gets one just to make it that little more expensive, but it's only the MP5. Fours will not mind. He's honest instead. I'll try and bait out a response on the B swing. Woxic looking for it. Missed shot. Shalfi takes full advantage. Man advantage found as they look to split into this B site. Norway is going to be key. They need this. Kalix will find the trade. And now Norway alone inside of a smoke gets one. 
That could be huge. He's managed to drop the bomb with 15 seconds left. He's bought time, but x Flouds found another through the smoke. There's the bomb denial. Eight seconds. Jerry looking to be the hero. He hears them picking it up. He goes through the window. The spray's awkward, but he gets it. Immor has to stick the plan, and it will be punished. The bomb gets planted, yeah. sure, but just one. The damage is in, but the plant is two. And a double orb retake of this A site. It's going to be attempted. Shalfi not able to connect the first. Immor takes full advantage. x Flav chimes in, and this is feeling like it may well be done. A missed shot from Woxic. The nerves starting to show, but on the second attempt, he won't. Nor we only able to get the one. The lead extended once again by Eternal Fire. The back and forth continues. They've will... kept on this A site the whole time. We'll have to go big. Shalfi blinded up. Nothing he can do. Molotov to try and force Norway off the ramp. Shalfi's blinded again. Kenzie gets one, but it's immediately traded. And now Shalfi, you can see he knows he's got to have a round through the smoke. He's picked another, but the trade is in. The plant is coming through. Jerry, no idea about that close player, and it leaves Norway. 1v3 as he collects the first on to Zantares, but it's Woxic and Xfloud. Up on the site itself, Woxic, they group on the A site. They know Norway's got to come at them. They know the angle he's got to take. Woxic misses the first shot, but there is x to back him up. And again, Suarez. swathes of map control to be taken, and he's taken the willingly. Shalfi, blinded through the smoke, has dealt with the tunnels player, and that makes this mid-B split very one-dimensional, but Zantares adds another clean headshot onto Norway. Immor finds the second, and that's the B site. It's almost impossible to retake. Everybody says it. Woxic making noise in mid, keeping them busy in mid. They're going to try. This could be it for Eternal Fire. Jerry probing the window. Immor remains ever vigilant, not even needed. Kalex gets two. It's done. Surely, Kenzie. Nothing he can say or do. 16-11. It will be Eternal Fire.